Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about creating macros in Siemens NX. Okay. Now to start with, let us understand what macro is. Okay. Macros are a group of actions or command which are recorded to save time of repetitive task. So for example, in our company, let's say we change the color of the object frequently to a particular color. And also we change the transparency of the selected object every time. It can be a manufacturing industry where they change the color uh, and the transparency of the workpiece. Now to do that automatically, we can create a macro and we can generate those actions automatically using the macro. Okay. Now let us start with creating a simple example of changing the color as we discussed. Now to do that, first we will create a geometry before we start anything with macro. I'll create a basic geometry. For example, here I'm creating a simple block of 100 by 100 by 100. I'll click OK. Now here I'll have, let's say, multiple geometries of this. For example, for doing that, I'm using pattern geometry command to create multiple geometries. So here I'm going for a linear pattern. I'm defining this as my vector. And this is what the distance I'm looking for. And I want, let's say, total of five copies for now. I'll click OK. I'll press Ctrl F to fit all the five copies on the screen. Now what I want to do is I want to create a macro using which I can change the color of the object. Now before we start recording a macro, okay, macro is something which is recorded. So that will record all the user actions and all the steps and procedures taken for generating a particular output. Okay. So before we start recording a macro, it is very necessary or very uh, important that you should have a practice of doing this thing repetitively. Okay. Then only macro will be successfully recorded. Now, for example, here, Let's see how to start the recording of the macro. To start the recording of the macro, we need to go to menu, then tools, then macro, and we need to click on start record. For the same, the shortcut is control shift R. Once the recording is completed, we can click on playback or sorry, stop record, uh, using which we can you know complete the macro recording. So first we need to click on start record to start the recording of the macro. Now here I have clicked on start record. Now it will ask me to specify the location where I'm going to place my macro. Okay. So for example, here, I want to give it a name called test and here I'm going to click. Okay. This is the location or the folder in which I want to place my macro. So please be aware about where you are placing a macro and here I'll click. Okay. Now my macro recording is started here in the bottom status bar. You will get a proper indication from NX that macro recording is already started. Okay. Now I want to change the color of my object. Now for changing the color of my object, what I can simply do is I can press control J. Okay. So once I press control J, I want to select my object and then change the color. But what I want to do is I want to keep this selection to the user so that user can independently select any object they want to. Otherwise, if I recorded the selection of this object in macro, it will be the same object every time getting selected. So what I'll do, I'll go to menu tools, macro, and while I'm doing a selection, I'll go for a user entry. So this will allow my user to do the entry by themselves. So here, if I click on user entry, so here you can see the macro is saying user entry recorded. Now, once I complete my user entry, that is by selecting the body and by clicking OK. So here that n number of bodies can be selected. And once I click OK, my user entry is now completed and the recording has been resumed. Now I can change the color. Let's say to red, I'll click OK and I'll also change the transparency of the object. Let's say to 50% and again, I'll click OK. Now here we can see my object color and transparency got changed. Now you might say I have not yet stopped the recording of the macro and if I keep on recording, it will be too long. Okay. Now basically macro will not record your movement of the mouse in a form of video. It is actually recording all the codes which are running in the background in form of steps. So it doesn't matter how long you take to record a macro. It is always going to play back in seconds or it is always going to get executed in seconds. For example, let's go to menu tools macro and let's stop the recording of the macro. Let's say we are done with this macro. So we want to stop the recording. So I'll click on stop record. So here the macro recording has been terminated. Now I want to play back this macro recording onto any one of the object. And I want to see whether that macro is working or not to do that. I'll go to menu tools macro and I'll click on playback. Now, once I click on playback, it will ask me which macro I want to play back. So you might have a couple of macros. So here I want to play back the test macro. I'll click. Okay. 
Now here in the test macro, it is asking me to select the object. So here user entry activated. So here I'm selecting one or two objects and then I'm clicking OK. And now you can see for both the objects, the color automatically changed to red. Okay. And also the transparency automatically changed to uh, 50%. So this is how macro recording can be useful. Let's say I want to change the color of only one object. So I'll just go to tools, macro, playback. I'll select the test macro. I'll click OK. And I want to change the color of this object. So I'll click on this object and I'll click OK. So no, now only this particular object got affected. Now in the next video, uh, we will go more in detail about macro. We will create some holes using macro and we will also learn how to add a toolbar action by using which you can make a single click so that you can have certain things change inside this particular software. So let us wait for that, for that particular video. And if you like the video, if you are watching till now, please like the channel. Okay, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Also like the video and also comment in the comment section below if you want to learn any particular thing about NS. Okay, thank you very much for watching and also do watch other videos which are created in different languages like in Hindi and also in English. So here I have already created videos for the pants, pen stand, modern power part, fish scale design was, you know, different things. So you can also watch those videos in order to understand more about NX, more about how to create complex design in NX. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.